Hello everyone, as you all know, the general trend in the transportation sector is to move away from fossil fuels and towards other means such as electric vehicles and hydrogen power. The EU, for example, has planned to ban all new petrol and diesel vehicles from 2035. Currently, the most common solution is to electrify vehicles. But is this really sustainable or even possible given the questionable ethics of cobalt mining in Congo and limited lithium and copper reserves in the world to the point where it's not even clear whether it's possible to electrify all forms of transport? This has led to some automobile manufacturers such as Toyota and Hyundai trying hydrogen-powered cars. These cars use fuel cells to directly convert hydrogen and oxygen from the air into water and electricity. This is a simple process with high efficiencies. But fuel cells also have some of the same limitations due to their usage of copper and rare materials such as platinum. So there have been proposals about using hydrogen in a classic internal combustion engine. This proposal has been put forward by Toyota, BMW and Yamaha. Such an engine would use the same technology as today but be tuned for hydrogen. The EU is also building gas power plants meant to be dual fuel that is they can run on both natural gas and hydrogen. This means that they plan on combusting hydrogen in large gas turbines. Engineering Explained has a great video explaining why putting hydrogen in a combustion engine is a bad idea. But I would like to add on to this by giving a more unique perspective on why combusting hydrogen is not so good. So in a piston engine, the source of power is the power stroke. This is when the fuel-air mixture is ignited by the spark plug producing a small explosion which makes the piston move down. But this is not a good mechanism in the case of hydrogen as the efficiency is low. A classic internal combustion engine achieves an efficiency between 30 to 40 percent in general. The maximum so far is 50 percent. But hydrogen in a combustion engine is expected to have an efficiency of only 10 to 15 percent. The reason for that lies in the basic chemistry of the process. So when we looked at the balanced chemical equation, for the case of petrol, the primary component is octane, which is C8H14. Octane reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. Here we can see that 12 and a half molecules that have reacted have become 15 molecules after reacting. But for the case of hydrogen, it reacts with oxygen to give water. And here you can see that 1.5 molecules have become just one molecule. The matter in the cylinder during the power stroke is in the form of a gas and the gas can be approximately modeled by using the ideal gas equation which is PV equals nRT. The combustion releases heat which causes an increase in the temperature which in turn increases the pressure. The pressure generates a force on the piston which gives a mechanical power output. In the case of octane, the increase in number of molecules from 12.5 to 15 during combustion assists the process and contributes to the increase in pressure. The number of molecules is the n term in the ideal gas equation. The increase in n also causes an increase in P, the pressure. But for hydrogen, the number of molecules actually decreases. This affects the power produced negatively. The increase in pressure from the heat of the combustion has to overcome this effect to make power. As a result, the efficiency is poor. The only case where combustion of hydrogen is sensible is in the retrofit of diesel engines. There are a lot of heavy equipment such as construction equipment powered with diesel where it is not sensible to try to electrify them. The construction equipment manufacturer JCB has already done a lot of work regarding retrofitting existing earth movers with compressed hydrogen tanks which can be used to supply fuel to the diesel engine instead of diesel. Airbus under their Zero E project is also looking to use hydrogen in a gas turbine as it offers more power in an engine of less mass relative to a fuel cell electric motor setup. This is the power to weight ratio which is very important for aircraft as they try to keep the mass of the aircraft as low as possible. In conclusion, it is very clear as to why hydrogen 
cannot be used efficiently in a combustion engine and it all boils down to the basic physics of the process thank you for watching and hope you learned something today